So we're up to 10. Yep. Right. <laughs> I'm going to put the clip on. This one you don't like. Clamp on. No, I'm not in that right hand track. I'm sure it's better. So we've got no heating. Yep. Temp, which is surprising because we've only got one heater on. Oh. So we run through. <laughs> it's going to it's gonna, it's gonna blow that ball. It's a water cycle. Yeah. Well, it does that. It's, um, probably. You know, that little plate at the back. Yeah. It's probably locked up. So when it rushes water in, it should actually blow the water, to blow the air out because it's got the brake tank at the back. Yeah. But if that's blocked, it blows the door sometimes. So I wash for a minute, so the sequence is, as soon as I, do that then, as soon as I started washing, wash the detergent pump, yep. puts the detergent in before it washes, does at the beginning of the cycle, so if it does at the end, it'll just go down the drain and yep. it'll just not do anything. So that's programmable in seconds. Put it on, this should just about for a minute. So we're running that pump. Yep. So all that's running now, it's monitoring the pump, it's monitoring the temperature, it's not, it's still up, it's monitoring, because this light's on the top, it's telling you what the top tank is at. The top tank's at 58, yeah. which is fair enough. Now what it'll do now is it'll start to rinse, it'll switch this down to there, and it'll tell you what it's rinsing at. So it's stopped that pump, yeah. it's started running the rinse boost, which you can't just see. In the the there, yeah. Yeah. It's also, now it's going to start filling, when it's, when it's finished rinsing, when it won't drain the boiler, it'll just, it does it on the second, right, it's pulling water in, so it's putting the rinse aid in now, because yep. what it's doing is it's going through that little bit that leaks, and the water's taking the rinse aid into the boiler, so at the beginning of the cycle it's getting a right good mix of rinse aid. Yep. It won't need much rinse aid, you'll, you'll need, that's in, that runs at 0.3 of a litre of an hour, that runs at 3 litres of an hour. And the back pump it's away. Yeah. Now what we're going to do as well is, well, maybe not. But we're going to. That's you could. If we run two elements on, it will blow the 13 amp fuse because mm -hmm. we're running six, twelve, and the rinse pump in. Yeah. It would do it. But there is a way of running the elements in um, series. Series. And, yeah, which I've got in here. You run two elements in series and it will run in a 13 amp plug. Oh, right. But it'll just give it a little bit more. Yeah. It eats it up better because it's on two elements. Yeah. But you've got to put them in series with each other. If you put them in parallel. No, you're doubling the amp. Yeah. So what you've got here, the boiler reduction, which was a, a thingy. So that's two thirds power, 67%. Yeah. So that's six kilowatt, kilowatt mm. each to four. Half power. So it'll run on three kilowatt power, and we yeah. hope that because a standard plug will take about be three point three, won't it? Yeah. So that should should do it. So we're going to wire it like that, or as it's done in here, it's gone for a third, which is two kilowatts. So it's just turned two two elements off. Yeah. That's what we've got now. That's what we've got now. Yeah. But obviously we're going to suffer on the heating time. Yeah. So when you switch that on in the morning, if water's coming in at fifteen degrees. It's going to take probably an hour, yeah. two hour and twenty to fill itself. Well, they do do that on the hospital, but they fill it with hot. Yeah. 